I made a profound apology for the wrongs of apartheid, for the pain that it caused, for the indignity that it brought, for the disregard of human rights and basic freedoms, which was part of it. So nothing in the short comment I want to make takes anything away from my admission that apartheid was wrong. But with the greatest respect, Professor Alcar, apartheid didn't start in 1948. And it wasn't started by my people, the Afrikaners. Apartheid was a world phenomenon for centuries. It was practiced by all the colonial powers, not in such <coughs> regulated terms, but it was there. Racial discrimination was part of history. And the hands of billions of people and their generations following upon them are dirty enough. A complete history of South Africa and motivations for what my people did also previous generations, should also relate that my people fought the first modern anti-colonial war on the continent of Africa, should recollect that 27,000 women and children died in British, of my people, died in British concentration camps, that the freedom they had and the self-determination they had was taken away in an unfair way from them when gold and diamonds were discovered in South Africa. And suddenly the British developed a conscience about South Africa, coincided with the violence of the gold. <laughs> so, I must stand up for my father who was a minister under three consecutive prime ministers and say he didn't hate that. He wasn't motivated by racial hatred, by thinking blacks were inferior or anything like that. What the grand dream was, was to build a little Europe in South Africa. To, on the basis of nation states, create a situation where all South Africans, Zulus, Kota, Sutus, and whites would have full particular rights, uh, political rights in their own country. Was to do what the whole world now support is maybe the best solution for Israel and Palestine. But we failed. And one of the fundamental reasons we failed is the whites were too selfish. They wanted to retain too much land for themselves. They wanted somehow or another to retain indirect power and so I could continue. I'm not going to, to go into details about it. I just want to say apartheid was wrong. When we reach the stage because of also taking a deep hard look at ourselves, which brought us to the point where Buddha was expected to make a speech 